Sí. Uh, 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 uh. We should be live on YouTube now. So if you are watching now, then you're likely watching the video on demand or you're, or you're already in the chat. We will just be doing like a pre-stream talk in a minute. Um, and if you're just like watching the VOD and want to immediately jump to our reaction of the War Table stream, there will be uh, timestamps in the description. And you can actually also see it in the sort of time bar of the video. So you can immediately jump there. Hello, thanks everyone for joining. And uh, as you likely see, I'm not alone. Joyce is here as well. She Hello. helped me out for a, a really long time now with the channel editing videos. She did a ton of uh, Spider-Man stuff. And uh, yeah, we're now hyped for Marvel's Avengers, right, Joyce? Heck yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> me too. Me too. It's going to be... Uh, I mean, this stream, they have to kind of clear things up because so far... The road could have been better, don't you agree? Like in terms of the marketing and what we've seen. Yeah, it has been really quiet. Like there, there hasn't been like for Marvel Spider-Man, for example, there have been so many trailers or just mini teases on Twitter or on social media. And Avengers is kind of quiet, so. Yeah, they of course delayed the game. It was supposed to hit in May, and really, like when uh, COVID happened, they really went quiet. While before mm -hmm. that, we had like daily news. Um, and this yeah. really seems to be like the start of the marketing campaign till this fifth September launch. Thanks everyone for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, and I see a lot of the obvious questions already. Let's address it immediately, Joyce. Yep. Um, Let's see. Joyce is a to. video editor for me. She has been working a long time for, for the channel. So, uh, yeah. How, she, how long has it been now? Um... I think Origins Discovery Tour, so that was, that was February 2018. It's been yeah, more than wow. two years now. Oh my god. Odin is with us, Steven says. Joyce, he's an OG. Hey. Joyce actually did a voiceover for a Spider-Man video oh. once. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Let's nice. see if we... Finally changed my name, so it's easier to say. It was previously BJ. Yeah, okay, nice. Ben Morgan. Hey, that's way easier, Ben. I'm following uh, so many friends. Okay. Yeah, last time was the Odyssey livestream. That's true. That's been a... Uh, I mean, we, we've been streaming on Twitch a lot as well. But indeed, like on YouTube, the last stream was that... Uh, that uh, 300,000k, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think so. Hey, Dennis is in the chat here as well. That's awesome to see. Hi, Dennis. <laughs> Hi. Um, Joyce without a cap. I know. <laughs> he, I do have it actually here, but I thought it wasn't appropriate for this stream today. So I'm not wearing it today. Maybe for another one. <laughs> is this game in the same universe as Spider-Man? Uh, we don't know. I don't think so, actually. Although I would love to see a sort of... Um, yeah, it would be cool if Spider-Man showed up in this game, but I don't think it will be like for a while. Like, I would what? be really surprised if it did. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Especially now with Miles Morales coming later this year. Uh, Joyce, overall, um, what do you expect to see during this? Uh, yeah, during this stream, we're eight minutes away at this point. Yeah, we'll probably try a new trailer. I hope uh, a lengthy gameplay sequence, like not just just parts of a gameplay and new gameplay. Yeah. And maybe a bit more story-wise. Like, you know, we know a lot about the main characters now. You, know, you have Ms. Marvel, um, Captain America, you have the Hulk, you have a lot of different characters. But I just want to see some surprises, you know? They have been teasing on social media, actually, hit like hiding in their countdown some characters that are gonna, that are probably you're gonna see in this live stream. Um, but still, like. Yeah, who's that character? You, 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 uh, you actually got something interesting. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you guys have been looking on the tweet on the Twitter of Marvel's Avengers, there's actually um, the one that says tomorrow that countdown. You see like an AIM computer, and underneath that computer you see, um, I think it's an ID card of some sort, and there's actually the name of George Tarleton, which is Modog, one of the villain one of the villains in the Marvel universe. So we might see 
a glimpse of what he's been doing in this universe. So Ooh. I wonder if he's already Modok or if he's still... I mean, yeah, we know that AIM is like the main villain of this game. And that, of course, also makes sense because we will be replaying a lot of missions, I think. And uh, like having this constant wave of enemy robots makes way more sense than an actual villain sort of criminal organization that just has an unlimited amount of... Uh, uh, of like humanoid band bad guys but yeah i'm curious where they take it from here it's already uh interesting to see whoa the music really gets loud all of a sudden they're yeah, like I'm, uh, i already muted the bit <laughs> oh really yeah i wanna yeah. and of course like if you're watching and want our audio wanted a little change like let me know um so yeah i think what i'm like most curious about is like because this game has a single player we know that but the bigger part of the game where we will likely spend the most hours is more the multiplayer part the loot grind the rpg side right so how does that come into play like have do we have a big enough game when we just want the single player and or how how will it all be connected how much gear can we collect how what if we both play iron man like joyce and what can my Iron Man be completely different compared to yours? Like, I want to see how deep the customization goes. Yeah, would that be like a crafting table, like in style, in Tony Stark style? That would be really cool. Yeah, for sure. Like, we already saw the inventory a little bit, but that was also like work in progress. I'm curious if we see like an updated inventory here and if they actually change it a lot. Uh, didn't they also mention that um, in the PS that there's gonna be like a crossplay thingy going on that P people from PS4 and PS5 can actually play online together? Oh yeah, 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 for sure. We uh, that that's yeah, that's pretty cool. So like you actually get a free PS5 upgrade when you buy the game. It's the same on Xbox, and if you stay on PS4 and I play on PS PS5, then we can still play together. And I think that's pretty cool. Only you. Will you not <laughs> You have to wait longer in the loading screens, and I will just be playing. So that that's. <laughs> I wonder how they're. Well, I mean, this is this is can be a thing, because well, PS5 no loading screens, and then PS4 to do. So I wonder how they're gonna fix that. Because I think the like PS5 users will still have to wait. Like that, that's usually with online games. It it usually starts at the same time for everyone. So would be weird if I was already halfway through the mission and you just came in. I think. <laughs> Someone is asking, is Howard the Duck in this game? <laughs> it would be funny. <laughs> How long is the stream going to be, uh, Ryan asked. Um, it's going to be, I think, 30 minutes or a little longer. That, that's at least what I saw on Reddit. So, uh, yeah, we will just be here all the time, do a post, uh, yeah, sort of post discussion what we what we thought. I will likely go through the, the trailer a little bit again. And uh, after that, I will be off making a video about everything that was shown. So. Totally keep it locked. If you want a more cross science video, you totally get that too. Um, it better have the uni bear. Wrong game, Risa. Wrong game. Um, people are asking who I am. I guess for people who just joined. Oh, sure. Yeah, they, go ahead. They don't know who I am. So, hi, I'm Joyce. Um, I'm actually one of the video editors for your Raptor. Um, so, I'm also Dutch because I also see people asking if we are Dutch. Yes, we are. Yes, right? zeker. Yeah, zeker. See a lot So wow, my Dutch is. Yeah, you're sailing. switching now. <laughs> let's keep it on English. Let's keep yes, it let's on keep English. it on English. Um, I have been with the channel for a while now. I was out for six months due to Ooh. an internship um, at Gorilla, <laughs> which was amazing. Cannot talk about that much, but it was really cool. And now I'm back, and um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been it's been a blast. And you're and finishing now... off your school, and then uh, yeah. Yes. I am. I am graduating. Hopefully, I'm not gonna Later tell you all the details, but um, yeah, it's the final week. I'm gonna Ooh. send everything in next week, and then it's over. You have results. a long vacation. Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. You can finally rest. Oh god. Um, let's see. Uh, Netherlands for the win. A lot of Dutch people here represent. Ooh. Awesome to see, but orange. Um, <laughs> do you think? uh luke cage as a playable hero i really think that if they a mm -hmm. announce a new playable hero there like we know that post-launch they will have new heroes added for free 
I don't think that if they had like a short list of heroes that need to be in this game, that Luke Cage is on the, in the top 10. I, I'm not sure about you, Joyce, but I think they, there's like a ton of other heroes that you want to see first, right? Yeah, well, yeah, Luke Cage is a little bit lower on the list. <laughs> it would be also be like, in terms of gameplay, like a little bit more like oh. the Hulk. Like, why, why what if we do... Sorry, I am interrupting, but what, do, what if we do see Hawkeye today? That would be awesome. They teased, <laughs> they teased him already in the, the room from Ms. Marvel. I, by the way, did see the Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. I saw someone ask it. I want to do a video on it. But I'm expecting them to release more Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. So I want to like do a big video covering it all. That's, of course, like... We're all like in this sort of E3 month right now. Yeah. And yeah. I always I seem to forget always that Ghost of Shima is also launching in like a few weeks. It's pretty nuts. Can't yeah. wait for that. Death Pool would be awesome for sure. Ooh, yes. So yeah, you gotta play uh, Fortnite for that. I think Fortnite got the dips on that. Really? Oh. <laughs> no, I Damn think it. the previous season had it. They now have Aquaman, so they're like doing oh, yeah. they're doing things with both uh DC and Marvel. Um, oh god, one more minute. Oh. One more minute. Yes, one yes, more yes. Minute. Let's go. I'm doing well, I'm Legend. Thanks for joining here. L I hope you like your awesome icon next to your name. You uh, are, I think, Ooh. one of the only people who actually got made it to the Hades Lieutenant Raptor. That's actually pretty cool. Thanks everyone <laughs> for the kind words. One. Did you like Death Stranding? I haven't, finished it <laughs> I haven't finished it yet. <laughs> no, I did not really like it. It was not really a game for me, but I also think that it just took way too long to get to the good, good stuff. Um, PS5 pre-order. see a lot of people ask about that. When will that be up? I think August. There's a rumored state of play happening in August. So it's really like when Sony announced the price, the pre-orders are going to be up. And right now... Um, like, we don't know the price. So, really, when they announce that, and they can't wait that long. Like, at some point, they have to put out pre-orders. I think it's going to be August and early September at the latest. All right, let's go. Woo! Oh, they're pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think it's, like, pre-recorded. Probably. Yeah, I know, for sure. Why, why would yeah. you do it live? In-game purchases. Uh-oh. Okay, everyone <laughs> who's below teen. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's go, Dennis Gaming. When I was oh. young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. I was already guessing there was going to be a trailer first. If I could yeah. instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. I think we're hearing the villain already. A few months later, yeah. while hunting, the those are probably aimbots. Yep. Me. We're fixing the damage the Avengers I don't recognize the voice, though. Like, the voice actor. Inhumans mm, are yeah. sick. Unlimited oh. power, that's Ooh. dangerous. It's lethal. Wait. Oh, are wait. Are they gonna do the whole X-Men thing? We Come already on, saw the... Let aim help yeah, them. we already have him here. I'll take my chances. Oh! I knew it! What if the Avengers were set up? I think you should see for yourself. Hey, does he have a beard now? Yeah. <laughs> they changed, changed that. They changed that. Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Uh, they all have a beard now. This better be good. <laughs> totally Except for America. He tried to drive the chimera. Son of a. Have you all completely lost yeah. your senses? Well, oh, hi, you Whoa, Whoa, awesome armor. Hell. This is our fault. All of ours. You that is indeed really cool. Better without us. Yes. See, it's always Why the casual four though? <laughs> Who you are, what you are. Oh God! This is exactly oh, what Johnson wants. You struggle against the unstoppable tide of progress, Avengers. Ton of enemies. Power cannot be controlled. Abomination. Oh, the mic is a little loud. I will rid the earth of superpowers. Even if it yep. has to end. Gold it. Me. Pretty cool trailer. It's just got a whole lot weirder. Oh, 
Ah, Modok is gonna be the main villain. Yeah, Modok. Oh, interesting. What's up, Marvel fans? My name's Casey Lynch, and I'm editorial director at Crystal Dynamics. Marvel's Avengers War Table uh, is your direct source for all volume things volume Marvel's Avengers. Up, We've got a great volume. show lined up with new trailers, new details on one of our main villains, Modok, hey. <laughs> and advanced idea yeah. mechanics. And we'll take a first look at co-op and war zones. Yes. If you've ever thought, what is this game? Or how does it work? Then this is the show for you. Let's get into it, starting with the story trailer. In the aftermath of A-Day, everything changed. Another trailer? We, we just saw... You so-called heroes oh, was like transformed another trailer? San Francisco into an infectious, gas-filled quarantine zone. You unleash disease, powerful beings that wreak havoc throughout our nation. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Yes. I can promise you this. I will use this second chance to make you safe. AIM will find a cure for the inhuman oh, disease. Shit. As a founding member of tech giant huh? Advanced Idea Mechanics, or AIM, George Tarleton dreamt of a world made better through science. But even as AIM promises a cure to end the inhuman infection, and the revolutionary Adaptoid project offers a world protected by science, Tarleton, a victim of A-Day himself, uses AIM's technological might and the public's fear of inhumans to convince the world that the superpowered are uncontrollable and cannot be trusted. Uh -huh. His deranged obsession drives him to become MODOK, mental organism designed only for killing. Yeah. When choosing a villain, we knew we needed someone who had the muscle and mental capacity to become an Avengers level threat. We also wanted a new face for modern Avengers fans. A uh, big face. But comic fans know MODOK is anything but new. His origin in Marvel lore dates back more than 50 years to October of 1967 in Tales of Suspense. Now, with AIM's drive to manipulate public fear and his ability to control machines with his mind, Tarleton and AIM are the most sophisticated threat the Avengers have ever faced. But a teenage fangirl named Kamala Khan doesn't trust AIM. In fact, she's convinced that AIM is experimenting on her fellow Inhumans under the guise of finding a cure. She's and she already... believes George Tarleton was behind oh. the plot to discredit the Avengers. And she has proof. Ooh, As nice. you pick up the oh trail God, of the like long disbanded <laughs> Avengers, you'll advance the story of the single player campaign, unlocking more and more Ooh, hero specific like missions. We know you've been asking for new gameplay that's not from Aiden. Thank you. We hear you. <laughs> So here's a playthrough of part of a new Thor hero mission. So here's A-Day again. Once an Avenger. No! <laughs> uh, we heard you don't like it, but we really like it, so let's go. I mean, yeah. Oh, she's in her suit. Yep. Love it already. Oh god, did you see that? Like the whole rain hovering on her face? Yeah. They don't say if it's PS4 or PS5. We're here live though. with the AIM experience in Manhattan. I think it's PS4. The return of the yeah, Avengers, probably. They, they appear to be attacking the city. <laughs> Why the council <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I have... We have seen this scene is with the whole hammer. Is it that this attack comes on the very day that AIM is supposed to unveil their promising new adaptoid program? Okay, that's cool. Oh, oh. Uh. Nice timing. Yeah. Thank you. You should know. I'm not in the best of mood. So in the single player campaign, you play one specific character for that moment, I think so. Wait, is that Thor? Holy crap, Thor! Where the hell did you come from? I was serving the oh, I can't wait to try this out myself. It is unbelievably good to see you. A bit dramatic, don't you think? It doesn't matter. He's here now. Where is there some RPG elements? Well, I mean, we can do some customization. Yeah, but this is single player. I think then it's not possible apart maybe from the outfit. Yeah. Maybe they're gonna tell us something, but that's yeah, yeah. Never, when 
mortals are at peril. Where do you hide, Doctor? So it seems like to aim at specific parts of that uh, more powerful robot. Yeah. Odin's son is with us. Uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> what are these things? They're drilling into the deck. Whenever it has weak spots, you can eventually hide. Yeah, but he just seems to go for the for the middle part, like. Uh, yeah, like smash, smash, smash. Hey buddy, missed you! <laughs> Curious if we now switch or if we Hello. stay with Hope. Uh, or with the Thor. Just like old know. times. Now we just stay with. Aim oh, that's too bad. I see them. Focus on those mechs. Shit. Kamala, you okay? Yeah? No. On my way. You Hope know, you I kind of miss a little bit of okay. UI where it's actually you can see that they're talking to each other. Now it's oh, just yeah. like, oh, you know? I think the UIs just turn off altogether because normally with A Day we saw the abilities as well. So I think they just turn it off to have it be more cinematic or something. I don't know. We'll explain later. Don't worry, she's up to it. I like the amount of enemy variety. Like, that was one of the things that was kind of worried about. Can you hold it up with wind? You see a ton of different aim robots. But the impact on this robot is like, it doesn't seem to help or anything. <laughs> no! <laughs> like, like, he's giving all his power, but the robot is like, um, not exactly. going away. Okay, Hulk is clearing it up for us, so that's nice. I just want to play as Hulk. Yeah, I mean, show us if you can switch characters, actually. No, it's not only next gen. It's uh, PS4, Xbox One, PC, and then next gen later this year when the consoles launch. Oh, you can fly. That's cool. Uh oh, like freezing, yeah, a freeze aim robot. Like I like the the variety for sure. I think they had like a shock weapon the other uh, other time, so that's kind of nice. It kind of plays like like Kratos in a way, don't you think? Yeah. Hey! Here's the Oh, now we're Stark? Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, we saw this in the trailer already. Yeah, we I think that was only the case in A Day because that was like the tutorial. Still, like. Maybe it's it's a thing that you pick the character before you go into a mission. Maybe it's that kind of way. That's only for co-op missions. I think this is a single-player mission. So then you... Because Thor's like coming in. And otherwise it would be weird because you did not see Hulk at first, right? So if you then pick Hulk, it would be... That, that would be kind of weird. Already working on it. But I'm not sure with the freaking robots, man. Like... Why why is that the <laughs> Yeah like it doesn't seem to go down. And there there's like a new one and there's another one and there's another one like maybe uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's is this like the most exciting mission they can show. What what this what the heck? <laughs> another one? Another one. I can oh. handle the large one myself. <laughs> you don't have to Damn it. that's the whole point. Yeah, I wonder how the character switch looks like too. Because right now I don't see it happening. What? The character switch? Yeah, like you cannot switch. No, you cannot switch. That's Only in the A-Day demo. The, that was like a tutorial. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what you said, but it's still a little... Ah, uh, you can hear Modok's voice. Yeah. I wonder who's voicing it. Yeah, I mean, we got a great, great cast for the other characters. So. Yeah, so... Another major. Whoa, is this like an adult one? Yeah, maybe. Ooh. Looks pretty OP. Kamala, Tony, we're trying to 
restart the engines, but there's not enough power. We're out of time, people. Brace for impact. Hey, God of Thunder. Stay behind me. Now, bring it. Okay. Yeah. We saw a screenshot of this too. Yeah. And in the trailer. Not sure what to think of this. I'm like, okay, so you have an awesome story campaign, and you have a Once an Avenger is a great example of a hero that. mission, a single-player campaign okay. experience focusing on a specific playable character. Hero missions give us a chance to tell more of each hero's uh, story and showcase okay. the variety and depth now of our hero sense. designs. Let's take a quick look at how Thor plays. With the game's combat systems, players can string together combos of heavy and light attacks or hold for signature oh, attacks. Oh, there's UI. Combat yeah. versatility is one of Thor's strengths. From making use of Mjolnir to pin enemies from a distance or bringing the sky down on his foes. In addition to core combat moves, the God of Thunder has a wide variety of skills to unlock that give him access to okay, classic so moves. This is one of our favorites, manual targeting. We largely drew our influence from writer Jason Aaron's run on the Mighty Thor comic. Manual targeting allows you to quickly mark your enemies for bullseyes okay, with Mjolnir, great. and one by one, you can mark them and knock them down as Mjolnir comes back to you. Follow that up with a powerful ground pound, and you've got a mighty combo. Manual targeting is a great ranged attack, but if up close and personal is more your style, go with the hammer spin or Mjolnir Cyclone. A lot of moves. Mm, yeah, That's a lot. lot of different moves. Heroes have three hey, special Mr. heroic moves assault, ultimate, Love. and support. When designing our heroics, we started Love with the, the signature moves from the comics and movies that I we've always too. wanted to play. The assault heroic charges the fastest, and in some cases, you can store multiple charges to use strategically as a part of your combos. You can perform these after charging <laughs> Why does your he sound like a 50 with year old? attacks. I agree. For instance, <laughs> Natasha's assault heroic is Widow's Bite, which is an electroshock projectile move you might recognize. You can see Nat using it right here. There's a lot of things from comics. Yeah. Each hero also oh, has a unique support outfit. heroic that's designed to enhance co-op mm -hmm. and team play. For example, Thor's support, Warrior's Fury, lets him channel the power of the gods to supercharge his Odin force and grants a period of invulnerability for nearby team members. You can okay. see this in action when Iron Man gets the buff as he flies through Thor's support. Sit. Ultimates take longer to charge, but they're definitely worth the wait. They have more screen clearing power, and some even have residual Street effects, inhumans. like See? Thor's Bifrost Ultimate. Excellent. Thor's Ultimate Heroic channels oh, yeah. the power of the Nine Realms, and his Bifrost <laughs> taps into Muspelheim to bypass unbreakable shields. Odin is Thor to use the power of the Bifrost <laughs> no, no, no. Odin to do maximum son. damage. I mean, in a way, we Odin. Know everyone plays differently, so we have melee, ranged, aerial, and ground combat skills to tailor your hero to your playstyle. As your heroes earn experience, they gain access to new skills. Skill points allow you to unlock new moves, combos, and even new versions of attacks. As you build up your heroes, you begin to see how unlocking and mastering the separate core skills offers a ton of depth and variety on its own for yeah, every hero. Awesome. The and that's before gear, perks, Artifacts Ooh. and any kind of There's later game progression. So why is all of this important? Because it means your Thor will play differently than my Thor, and my Hulk will play different mm -hmm. than yours. Okay. We'll make the same Hulk as your Hulk. Another way to Challenge customize accepted. your heroes is with we'll, gear. We'll see about that. We've previously <laughs> talked about the different rarities and how perks will give you powerful modifiers for even more customization. Some perks apply special damage like plasma or gamma or cause status effects like shrink, which will shrink enemies and reduce damage and defense. So you have like a lot of choice. You can yeah. see Iron Man using gamma gear. I wonder how many shot, skill points there are like fans probably max. noticed his laser sweep was green instead of red. Nope, that wasn't a bug. Through? When you have gamma gear equipped, it grants a bonus damage modifier and changes the emissive color of your attack. And voila, green lasers. Oh, I know. We wow. know that if you look good, you'll play good. Wow. The Crystal team has really enjoyed creating oh. all new outfits for these heroes and drawing from the 20 year history to bring no. so many classic <laughs> outfits to the game. 
Each hero has dozens of outfits drawn from some of the most recognizable eras and story arcs. Hey. You can earn them over the course of the story campaign by completing oh, missions cool. and deciphering patterns. It's kind of like Spider-Man in a way. Like going through There's Iron every Man level. Suit from the 2014 mm -hmm. Original Sin storyline. Or Donald Blake, which is a nod to an alias of Thor's who first appeared oh, in 1962's the Journey thing. into Mystery, issue 83. Or Tony's Stark Tech outfit that was inspired by the Bleeding Edge armor that first appeared in Invincible yeah, Iron Man number 25 in They're 2010. Really aiming on While there are a ton of outfits you'll earn just by playing, some will require completing iconic mission chains to earn yeah, cool, each Michael. hero's iconic outfit. And some outfits will only be available in our online marketplace. You can even uh -oh. customize your attitude and let only out your inner Hulk with the right email. Everything. I don't think that's canon. Hold on, was that like a Those Odin, are just some of the ways you'll be able to build and spec outfit. out your heroes. Okay, I think it's time for another trailer. This one gives us a first look at how all that customization is especially fun when you play together. This is co-op and war zones. That's okay. the final part. Quite a lot to get into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like a lot. These are half toys of his. They are They're definitely going for inhumans. In so these Georgie boy is gearing up for a war. Be... Programmable power under our control. No more heroes. The entire world is in terrible danger. Time is here. <laughs> go, go. Put some oh, strings to down, up the okay. armory. Get ourselves some new toys to play with. Dangerous ones. I'm picking up something in the atmosphere. A derivative of Terrigen. I'm here. Who needs their ass kicked? The very end breaks the dark magic. <laughs> Like your hop area. Jarvis Honor is only hops. encrypting the schematics. Hold so on, Jarvis is here? On new oh, that's cool. Oh, of course, sure, right. sure. I was like, look at all this. Which nation state is Aim planning to go to war with? Oh, this is the arena? Heroes no. are people. Warzone? Like the beach? No. That they have a ham arena, but that looked like a load box to me. Oh, uh, the Hulk as a bear! Oh, that was Nick Fury. Yeah. There are a ton of outfits. That's really cool. You can count them. You can count them, but you cannot see you them. Want to see powers? Yeah. Here we go. Time for heroes. It's over. Okay. Ooh, that sounded crazy. <laughs> I know. It's like in the middle of a cell tower. Oh, hello! It's the giant Iron Man suit! <laughs> so far, we've Buster. talked about the story, hero missions, and customization. Now, let's talk about Oh, we were not there yet? Okay. What did we just look at? <laughs> Co-op. Whoa, well, hey. War zones are missions which you can play with yeah, up to a total of four throw. players or solo oh, with an AI companion team made up of your unlocked and leveled heroes. Oh, Whether wow. playing hero missions or war zones, you always make forward progress with your heroes. Oh, that's pretty cool. On your helicarrier, you'll use the war table to launch missions with a variety of objectives and challenges. As you saw in the co-op trailer, each mission is grounded in story. So whether you're in the campaign or war zones, you're always working together to stop AIM and rebuild the resistance. You get missions from Jarvis, Maria Hill, Hank Pym, and more characters Pym? from Marvel history. Okay. Wait. Once you pick your mission, before? you'll board the Quinjet, it was where you can match before. make, switch heroes, choose your loadout, and of course, but I'm sure pick you will... the right look and attitude for the job. I'm not job. sure if it's Endman like yet. In this game, in this universe. As you start yeah, playing like missions still... across the globe, you'll realize AIM has entrenched themselves Scott. in cities and remote locations alike, all in the name of research. War zones range from wide yeah, open spaces more like a designed zone for exploration yeah. and team traversal to dense interiors with a variety of objective based challenges, boss fights, and rewards. Here's a mission we saw on the co op trailer called To Tame a Titan, where we can see some team play. 
There's this cool shot of Iron Man, but you may have missed Kamala and Hulk performing a team finisher on that poor guy back there. When you max out some larger enemies' stun meter, two heroes can come together to perform a team finisher, which gives you a chance to take them down much faster. Teamwork makes the dream work. Living the hero life is all about growth, getting stronger and better equipped to play smarter, and there are plenty of upgrades to help you do just that. As you progress through the campaign, you'll also be rebuilding and upgrading the Chimera, your helicarrier, which is your own flying base. There's like so much information the now. The Resistance I'm like, is a group who have banded together be two in the five years since A Day. Some are inhuman and have powers. Some are former Shield agents who refuse to pledge allegiance to AIM, and some just want to help. Huh. That's so cool. What is this place? Yeah, they call it the Ant Hill. It's not my idea. You'll join their cause in the field by working directly with factions like the Inhuman Alliance and S.H.I.E.L.D. agents Dum Dum Dugan, Nick Fury, and more. Earning faction reputation will give you access to new challenges. Hold on, did this say Morales? New vendors and more powerful items. I think it said Alessandra Morales. There will always be new threats on the horizon. Really? So you want to ensure yeah, your Avengers are ready for anything. that I flip that over. We've talked about a lot today, but that's kind of the point. This is a really big, ambitious game. Marvel's Avengers isn't just a global, high-stakes race to rebuild the Avengers, to save the Inhumans, and uncover the truth about AIM's plans. That's just the start. That's just the beginning. Yeah, I like oh. that too, This is a brand new, original Avengers single-player story that you can enjoy on your own, made the Crystal Dynamics way. But it's also an experience you can play with your friends that will grow as we add new heroes, new regions, and new story, all at no additional cost. Thank you for following us and believing in us. I want to give a big shout out to our community. Thank you for caring and telling us what you think. We're listening, and as fans ourselves, we're all working every day to make Marvel's Avengers worthy of your support. Please stick around after the show to ask questions and chat. On behalf of the that? whole Marvel's Avengers team, thank you for fast. tuning in to the first Marvel's Avengers War Table. There will in likely the coming be more. months, we'll talk about our first post oh. hero, our upcoming beta, and of course, our launch we'll when launch. Marvel's Avengers hero. arrives September 4th. Yeah, post launch. I'm Casey Lynch. And like I'll Spencer, see you next Hawkeye time. One of those I do have to admit, I like the whole graphic design on this. Yeah, the, the, the presentation is awesome. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dang. Okay, interesting. I can, by the okay, way, now I... say that I will have an interview with the developers in an hour from now. So that's pretty cool. Oh, so uh, if you got some cool questions, um, then uh, let me know. And I will, uh, I will be making a video very soon. Um, what? Is that really news now? I don't know. Okay. No! No, I was, I got a message, my <laughs> job popping up. Um, I do see some screens here now on the live stream, but. Yeah, I see it as well. Okay, we will not be talking about that, but that's huge. Ashraf stepping down on AC. That's really? a topic for another video. Yeah, that's a topic for another day. It's pretty Oh, huge. God. Damn. Um, so, your initial impressions. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, they're just showing some concept art. Let's just. Like, without, like, sound, let's just play through it again. Um, my biggest takeaway right now is... I think it looks awesome and it looks really as big as I hoped it would be. But I'm also kind of worried that the missions... And I am will just immediately skip to that. That the missions are not... Um, they aren't, like, that exciting. Like... I'm now at um, like you at one point you saw the inhuman cells right that you could break, mm -hmm. yeah. and you there was like break all the inhuman cells and then another point it was like kill here defeat all the enemies as you see right now on the screen like you don't see it but the people watching they do. I mean I can I can look at it right now with a little bit of delay. Yeah, but I'm just like this is a war zone mission so I think you can compare this to a public area in. Um, in Destiny, only it's not public likely, but I'm not sure if 
if the game will be exciting enough for you to go to every locate to to do this over and over again if that makes sense like to farm these uh these this like the farm these the, this looks like the criminal activities in spider-man right and, yeah, kind of, yeah. and at one point you had the districts where for one trophy i think you had to do five criminal activities in every district or was it for one of the dlcs i'm not sure no, you had actually like a, a couple of cr like if you swung around, then you hear like the police uh, yeah. talking over, and then there's like a there's like a crime and happening. That, you just stumped. Yeah, it. and that was fun, but that was like, uh, but when you had to do it for the trophy, uh, it wasn't fun anymore because then you were just swinging around, doing a criminal activity, swinging around, waiting for the other one to pop up, and those were also like kill all the enemies, stop the the car, and stuff like that. And yeah. I kind of feel that those the the missions that we're seeing here uh, are too much like that. Like they are they're they're showing here a single player. Like you got this war table. Like a ton of people watched. And uh, thank you for watching, by the way. Um, a ton of people watched, and then you choose to show a mission where you're on a on, on the ship, and they're they're like spider robots coming, like five times and that's the mission you want to show i i, I don't get that. yeah it wasn't that like there wasn't a lot of variety in, yeah. into the, the the enemies i have to agree with that and also like you, you saw the, the the exact i think it was the exact same robot like the purple one we see right now on screen um like it would it dropped i think like three times and it wasn't that like okay one or two times i get but not it's it kind of felt like recycling or something. Is that the right word? Like word, word ugh, right word for that? Yeah, that, that that kind of sounds maybe a little too negative in a way. I mean, it's kind of like okay. I, I get what you mean. Let's keep it a little bit less negative then. Let's yeah, yeah, keep yeah. it a little bit less negative. I mean, sure, they were really cool with the. They had like I, I think a couple of weak spots that yet you can actually target. Yeah. Or maybe it's it's too bad they didn't show the UI right away. Mm-hmm because uh, you could maybe see the weak spots already because like right after oh. that you could see the same thing and then uh, yeah, the, I'm, the I'm switching thing. to that now yes but I, I get what you're saying uh, I do like the customization that seems to be insane but I really think that what they're trying to go for is that I mean in a Diablo game you're also not really um, like, oh man, I'm doing the same thing over and over again, right? I'm fighting the same enemies over and over again. In a game like Destiny, it's also not... You don't really care about that. But I'm like... I'm like curious. Like, if a single-player mission is already like that, why, why, yeah, why is that, like, super special compared to a Warzone mission where all you do is also go to a location and kill all the enemies that are coming? So I'm just kind of curious how they see, uh, like... You, you log into this game, you likely have some weeklies and dailies, and then you're just going to a random location and kill enemies and that, that then upgrade your gear, and that, that's kind of that's kind of it. I'm, I'm just curious. But um, they were a little bit, like, they added uh, a little bit more of the story, of course, with yeah. Moda now confirmed as the main villain for AIM. I think that um, could be cool, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I hope they're going to be amazing with the giant head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and actually, I hope it's like a final boss battle where you can actually fight him, like the giant, uh, giant head, mm -hmm. or that he's like, um, because he has like mind control. I wonder how that's gonna work out, like if he's he he can actually mind control other characters. Yeah. Uh, maybe during battle. I also do like the fact I I'm going off track, of course, with the whole of that we were talking about, but because I'm getting distracted by all the amazing moves the characters can actually do like you have a, a lot of options for that yeah um, and that's needed if you're if, if the activities themselves like here we see destroy the inhuman cells again um like you need a robust customization system and i do think that that is what this game is going for it like if you are kind of tired of playing one hero, then you have five other heroes at launch that you can also play, and that should change the gameplay up quite a lot. While in other games like Destiny or The Division, you are stuck with one playstyle, or especially in, in Destiny, uh, you're stuck with one class, and yeah, then if, if, you, if you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's not that fun. So I totally like that. What did you think, by the way, of the... Uh, so there are like co-op missions, but if you are playing alone, 
there are still three other heroes, but they are AI controlled. So it will not be possible to do these missions alone. Some of the missions. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like that. I also saw that you can select the difficulty for the mission. I think oh, yeah. I saw that, like, if you go through the war table, I think it's you, you can see it somewhere in the in uh, what we've seen that you can actually select the difficulty. So it might be that the enemies are getting stronger and that the, uh, the AI to show your characters. I don't know if it's like be balanced or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might not be. Could be. Um, but I mean, I do. Like, I just. I wonder how like. It's gonna be probably a max of four then, because yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. it will be so, max of four. Yeah, and like the whole online thing, if that's gonna work uh, <laughs> as much as they are gonna predict, because of course with the whole that's PS4 always the case with these types uh, of games. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna be it's interesting. Like but they will do betas before launch, so that that's a way to kind of see how it goes. When yeah, is the beta, uh, Joshua? Don't please spam. But the beta is uh, is in uh, August, likely. Like it's for launch, and it's launching in September, so. Here, here we saw some outfits, but they blurred them out. They obviously don't want to spoil it. <laughs> um, bad. Oh, I did see like bearded Hulk. I like that. I like that a lot. Like they, I do like that they have a lot of. Um, they picked a lot of um, like outfits from different comics. So they basically tell you that you can check that those comics out if you want to know more about the history of that um, that suit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I wonder because th there are probably a lot of comics that they chose. Like, I didn't know that casual uh, outfit from Forbes from a yeah, comic. That, that, that's, that's, I think, and what they're, what they're kind of nailing with this game is that even if you were like a fan of, if you are like a Marvel fan and you mostly are thanks to the movies, maybe this game yeah, pushes you into a direction to check out the comics as well. And what I, of course, also like is that they really, they can really do whatever they want because it's their version of the hero. So they can, and they're also like bringing back Modok. Like that's a cool villain. Like it's not like Thanos or anything. It, they're really like trying something, something different. They're trying so, something new because it's, it's like, it's, it's a, it's a villain that hasn't been, that hasn't shown up a lot in like the cinematic Marvel universe, for example. Yeah. yeah. You could choose Thanos and they're like, oh, we have seen that that villain before. Yeah. Sure. And this one is like it, it's totally no, it's totally new. Like for the comic readers, it's not. But for yeah. people who are who only know the cinematic universe, for example, this is something completely different and refreshing. I also wonder how um, variety of the Inhumans are, are gonna be because they showed like the Inhumans are at the war table, like like on they are living on the yeah on the ship, the Chimera. Uh, yeah. Or was it like their own sort of other space inside the Chimera or something? I'm not sure, the, but I think it, was it looked pretty base. cool. It looked like a cool, and and that's like kind of where the whole Destiny thing is coming in, like the faction missions. So you 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 choose one faction and you do missions for them, and then you gain reputation, and then in the end you unlock better items. And there's likely a daily gap cap on that. So I'm curious if there's also a story for that. And right now, what I'm seeing, and I want to see more of. I want us right now. What I'm seeing is that they're doing these types of things to extend the, the time that you play the game. But I actually want them to have a good reason why these factions are here in the first place. Like they're really talking about aim is this force and it keeps on going. But that is because they want you to keep playing the game for a long time. Like I hope there's also like good story reasons why things are happening and why would I help this faction apart from getting good loot? Like. I really hope they, yeah, it's more than kind of what, what they show, showed right here. Like, I'm not sure. I'm seeing way more the game aspect instead of like being an adventure aspect, if that makes sense. Also, people have been um, asking in chat, like, there's no information about Captain America. Well, oh, they did not. Sh did they not show him? No. Whoa. They didn't, but. No, I I, not, not that you say that. Yeah, he's dead. Like, I played like, him. I, mean, I, I played the like game this. at Gamescom. I played Captain uh, America. He's here. He's here. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, he was in the A-Day demo, and then he he died. But they made him as a hero. He he will likely be in the final campaign mission, resurrect or something. That that that's my take. So I, by the way, I um I looked up the fact about that Alessandra Morales character. Yeah. I thought, I thought she. Uh, I looked her up. But I don't see any 
thing with uh like miles morales no no link or okay no well uh, that i'm looking right now i don't know if people in chat know Thor there apparently are any kill him no 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 cap is dead he died at a day yeah but he's not dead dead like they made this character like i played him he had like a huge uh kit like he had like a ton of abilities and stuff like that they not just made that for like a short 8 day demo. He will be for sure back. And I'm sure that if you're going to play the co-op and you see someone run as Captain America and you're like, hey, wait, he was dead. No, he's likely not dead. But they do a great job of hiding him. Like here, if I go back a second, you see actually all the heroes you have unlocked and he's not there. So they, do it. they go a great length to hide him. They're kind of embracing that he is dead, but... I don't think that's uh, that, that. I would be shocked if that's the case. But it, this is strike team, by the way, so that can only be four people. So uh, and you got your cool banner here, your power level that, of course, dictates how strong you are. Um, I think level forty is, by the way, the max level. Like, sorry, Joyce, I'm looking at stuff like that. No, no, no I'm 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 trying to look with you, and I know you're really interested in that stuff for videos. Yeah, 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 <laughs> for sure. Like, I, I mean, I already heard like get it from me. Like, run right now. The best tip for me is, so what they said is that you can. Um, well, let's actually go here because we already looked at this. <laughs> um, what they said is that you can play the Warsaw missions with friends online so with or with random people so then you play a character and then you have three other people or you could have a team and then you have um yeah your character and then three other ai controlled characters but they are your character so for example if i play thor during that Warsaw mission the black widow that i played will also be joining me and will also be ranking up and do you already kind of see where I'm going with this, Joyce? What What is the best way to level up all your characters? It's to play alone a Warsaw mission. Have your whole clan be characters that you own. So then you just play with your OP Thor. Kill everyone. Your Black Widow is level 1. Racing to the, le to the level cap. You're I in hope here first. That's way as in that, Borderlands. That's my... That's my uh, <laughs> Oh, she's not related to Miles Morales. No, I, I, I was thinking like, have I heard of this name before? Like, like is she from the family? But I guess she's not. That's too bad. Because I thought I could be like, oh, Miles Morales confirmed, <laughs> but no. <laughs> oh, oh god, sorry, I ticked against my mic. <sighs> um, no worries. Uh, any more things? Like, okay, I want to ask you. Like, I'm, I'm going actually do an interview with the developers in. Uh, 50 minutes so if you have any questions drop them in the chat and i will put them in my doc and uh, see if i can answer them joyce you got any questions maybe that you want to have answered that's a good question i already <laughs> had questions about post launch they already kind of teased it but i'm like curious like they're talking about the new hero how fast are they going to launch it is like one a year is two a year or more like what what is the uh, the thing which hero is it gonna be? That's actually a good, like, good question. But they're probably not gonna answer that. <laughs> no, nah, no, they're not going to answer that. But I know, I know why. Um, so we, will there be MCU outfits? That's a good one. That's a good one. Could be, maybe. I did not see them yet, but I, I'm sure. But I think that those those will be the microtransaction outfits, don't you? Yeah. Think? And that's yeah, why they yeah. aren't showing them yet. Because if you saw them, uh, this awesome shot, by the way. If you saw them in the trailer and you you saw, oh, wow, I like that outfit. And then you jump into the game and you have to pay $10 for it. That sucks. But they, of course, will save the best, coolest outfits like you would think for that microtransaction shop. Did they say uh, they're, they're going to be pre-order outfits available? Yeah, yeah, pre-order outfits and deluxe edition outfits. Steven, oh. curious about the post-launch as well. Cool, I will totally ask that. Uh, oh, yeah. Could you ask if mutants exist in the universe? Okay. I mean, mutants technically are the, like the inhumans, right? So, I guess yeah, that's they a... are. I mean, I'm just curious. Like, they did not really touch that much on the overall. Like, they they just showed that they were there, but we did not really learn more about some. Why are they like here in this world? Like, what is their what is their role? Um, I think what what we see here is that uh, Aim is testing on them. To show, yeah. I think they, they briefly said that actually, to show that the superheroes are bad because 
they test on these uh, on these humans, and then suddenly they do crazy things. Kind of feels, yeah. It, I I just they they were really cool with this whole animation, like the the the, the kind of comic sort of animation. Yeah, so yeah. AIM is like stepping up and Avengers is stepping down. Um. So I was right about George Tarleton, like the whole the yeah part. But I wonder if he's already Modok, like at the start. Like I think they said that he was gonna that he's turning into Modok, but but it's it's that's already at the start or that it, that's. I think he's turning of... into it because if we look at the at the limousine, he's like, kind of he looks different, like right. Yeah, I car. mean he's gonna eventually turn into a giant gigantic head. Um, <laughs> I'm already going to answer some questions that I see here. So one person asks, will the outfits have other moves only cosmetic? It's only cosmetic. We already know that. How many heroes will there be at the start? Well, six. So the five Avengers we saw at A-Day and uh, Ms. Marvel. Um, how many heroes can we play at the end? That's six, but then they will add more post-launch. And I'm sure that they will just keep adding as long as the game is successful. Um... And yeah, I saw the uh, the Ashraf news. Wanted to focus here on Avengers, but I will totally le look into it afterwards. I already have I my mean, kind of take on it. I do have like I'm curious because they're they're obviously going into the comics, like like a lot of comic detail. So I wonder like the characters, for example, Miss Marvel. I've read a couple of them now, and there oh, cool. are some characters like Wolverine, for example, is making um, is showing up in in like the first two. Um, Miss Marvel comics, so mm. and the Inhumans are confirmed, so it could be that Wolverine is in there. But I, I'm not cool. sure. Like, I think it's it, it's going to be interesting. Like, the, I think just Hawkeye is just on top of the list, right? And they want to make sure that every new hero post launch is exciting. I think Wolverine is totally up there. Like we already heard that, like Ant Man is likely going to be here. You would think at some point. Yeah, I mean, how many new heroes are they planning to launch? Because yeah, six at um, launch and then more after launch. So I will be asking about that. I also had like about the harm training room. Like there's like a training room that you can do. Uh, I'm just yeah. curious like um, the outfits that are only earnable through playing. Like how many of that are? Like what is the balance between the outfits that are going to launch in the store and going to launch uh, like that? Yeah. Well, uh, Valhalla get a delay. I don't know if I, I don't know if Ubisoft can do that. Uh, they want to launch this year. Man, that's you, interesting. Are there also going to be like missions, like weekly or monthly missions? Yeah, that's that's locations? a good one as well. I want because I, I think see so. someone say I see someone say like see if Wakanda has a mission that would be actually really cool. But I don't know if like Panther is gonna make like a. I'm, I'm sure that if up. Black Panther gets ended, that Wakanda will be there too. Like that they add like a hero and then the region of that hero. And like specific missions for that hero to take place there that that would be my bad yeah i just wonder if they're gonna be also like luke cage just jones i i'm not sure because you know they're kind of yeah i don't know if they're gonna show up to be honest mm -hmm. i mean everything is possible of course but still yep. like they, if they're gonna be close to avengers spider-man could be in there as well yeah they need spider-man but that's kind of I don't know, and maybe after, maybe add Miles. Like that would be a cool, like sort of tie-in, right? I I totally think that people who will be playing Avengers or that that will be buying Miles will still do it if he gets added to Avengers. Like they will still buy that PS5 game. So uh, yeah, will there be suits that they use in the movies? Yeah, we, we, I mean, yeah, he's we, gonna... we will uh, we will ask George's about gonna ask that. that. Uh, any more questions before we wrap it up? Um, can we play Captain America in the multiplayer and single player? I think so. I think that's like a safe bet. 100% sure. Um, they Will they develop Modok as a villain or will he just be the, like Modok? I think he's a villain, uh, actually. And what they are actually trying to do is like set up villains for the main story of the game. And, uh, and the idea is that after launch, new villains show up. So like that, that is kind of how they will uh, support the game moving forward. So maybe like we we take out Modok during the campaign, and then he is dead. But then we learn about another villain or something like that. Oh, that is a good question, by the way, about Ant Man because Hank Pym is confirmed. Yeah. What is happening with Ant Man? Like, if he's already Ant Man in this universe, or if it's still Scott? I can ask that. I can ask that. That's the. I mean, if it's if he could be the new hero, that would be really cool. 
Uh, uh, Medusa does a donation. Have you guys ever played Cl Cl Clash Royale? Um, that's a very uh, good question. That's totally like fitting for the Avengers subject. Can you have a? Do you have a yes or no, a Joyce, for me? Oh uh, no. Okay. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but Medusa nope. is a troll. I I know. But thanks for the donation. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, when Dennis is on, nah, I, I'm not, not even gonna start about this. Um, beta will be if you pre-order, by the way. Um, do you think there should, there should be more cinematics in the game? It's kind of hard to say. We haven't really seen a lot. They, they showed the trailer. I think there will be enough cinematics. I'm just not sure how long the story will be. Give me Black Panther. I want that too, but yeah. yeah. Uh, how many of the heroes available at launch? We already know that. It's six. Um, will the customs you buy uh, any in-game use? Just cosmetics. Uh, we, we discussed that as well, Drency. So, um, I think we, I'll, I'll just likely watch it kind of again before the interview. And then, uh, not even Dennis. Now, Dennis quit, Medusa. Thanks for the other donation, Dan. <laughs> I know you played with him before, but uh, he, he quit. Um, okay, I think, uh, I think we are wrapping up. The, any fi last words, uh, Joyce? Thanks for joining, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're welcome. It was really fun. Um, just like overall, I think it looks, they finally showed more than a day. So I'm glad for that. Like they yeah. showed a ton, like, uh, like the whole skill, uh, this whole skill set, uh, outfits, they even like, you can customize a lot of, uh, like an RPG kind of thing. Um, story-wise also a bit more, they didn't really go into much detail, I think, or they talked a lot and I didn't listen at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, they did like... not. But they, of, of, you, of course, don't want to spoil everything, no. and that makes sense. I'm just like, no, because... oh my god, like, look at the amount of icons. I'm like, kind of overwhelmed. Um, one thing that I also noticed, noted on Twitter, like, when they revealed the menu, like, the amount of. Oh, you don't even see it here, but. Uh, nah, never mind. There are, like, a ton of resources that you can unlock. There are, like, eight or something. I'm like, why do, do there have to be so many? I mean, You're... they said it was going to be an ambitious game, so I get that. Yeah, but uh, uh, ambitious doesn't um, immediately mean, oh, we need to have 10 million different resources. Like, no, f true. four is enough, five or something. I don't know. It is true. That's true. But uh, yeah, overall, it looks, it looks good. And um, I can't wait for the next word table. They didn't announce the next... No, I think it will be close beta, to right? launch because they're talking about the beta launch. I think it will be like early August. That would be my bet. So look okay. at the amount of icons. Like, go over to my screen now, Joyce. Like, I am did, looking. What yeah. the heck? I, I'm like I already overwhelmed. Where? What do I need to play? And that's only in the Pacific o Northwest. There are one, two, three, four, five, eight of these regions. Woo. See, Doctor Hank Pym. See. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he is. Yeah. So I wonder, like, how far is it gonna be? And there's like select difficulty and track mission chain. Yeah, I wanna, I'm it? gonna ask about the tra the mission chains. I wanna I wanna know. Yeah. Give me that so knowledge. So there's yeah. a there's actually a lot you can get. That's basically what Jordan does. Jordan goes through this screen and he figures out everything yeah. that's up being available in this yeah. in this game. Yeah. <laughs> there's even mission power forty. I mean, what does the mission power mean? Uh. Yeah, I think that your max level is forty, maybe. I don't yeah. Know. See how Horizon is not popping up the whole time. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. To, uh, <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let me see, like uh, mission chain. It's, it's okay. It's okay. And the guaranteed reward is yeah. an epic Pym Technologies gear. Yeah. Which so you have different gear. Out. You have like different yeah. manufacturers, and one of mm -hmm. them is uh, Pym. Hank Pym. Or... Yeah, an epic. So it's probably gonna be like a Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah, 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 it's like those RPG. Yeah, for sure. No. Um, oh, mission chain, guaranteed rewards. So um, they have like Agents of Shield missions, Avengers missions. I do don't not recognize the other icons though. Yeah, likely for the factions. Yeah, I guess. I How many factions do they have? They said three, I think. Mission That's... chain, guaranteed reward, and what else did you say? Oh, yeah, the mission power. Yeah. Cool. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, I hope you had a fun time. Uh, we did. So uh, we'll actually be back tomorrow with another live react for the Cyberpunk stream. 
So totally <laughs> tune into that. And uh, yeah, we will speak to you next time. Uh, you can watch the the stream right now. Like when we go live, when we go out, you can rewatch the stream. For now, we will speak to you next time. Was fun. Goodbye. <laughs>